Well, we start tonight with a two-year-old in critical condition after being shot in the head. happened around 11 Monday night just north of Edna Griffin Park in Des Moines. Five men were arrested, all of them charged with attempted murder and intimidation with a deadly weapon tonight. Now, as you can see, some of them aren't even from Iowa. One man is from Nebraska, another from Minnesota. The rest are from Sioux City and Storm Lake. Local 5's Lake and McGee is at the scene of the shooting now in Lake and what can you tell us? We've learned the five suspects drove up Jefferson Avenue this way. Now it's unclear if they got out of the vehicle or not, but you can see where they put bullet holes in this home right over here, shooting at least 20 rounds, one of them striking the two year old boy. Now five men have been charged, like I said, and none of them are Des Moines residents and two live out of state. But Sergeant Paul Parizic says they are familiar with some of them and looking at a connection to older cases. They believe the house was targeted but not the toddler. This is, should be outraging everyone in this community. You've got a two year old child and part of our job is to protect the people who are most vulnerable and that is why we aggressively go after the folks who are committing gang crime and gun related crimes and drug crimes because this is what happens. The home, the two year old aunt that claims she was a two year old aunt was there. She was looking at these horrific bullet holes. They were in the home. They were on the car. She tells me the toddler is doing much better. He just got out of surgery, but he is still fighting for his life. And Stephanie, police tell me uh, that there was a crash uh, on westbound on I-35. That's where police recruited two firearms. They believe that car was the suspect's getaway car. Now we're going to have more information coming up tonight at 6. Live in Des Moines, Lake and McGee, Local 5 News, We Are Iowa. A terribly sad situation there. All right, Lake and thank you.